So if I'm looking at a piece of art which has particularly got a red line in it, it's very, it becomes very, very aggressive to me because one eye is saying it's red and the other is saying it's white, this single line. And that, that's quite hard. So there's certain piece, pieces of art that, yeah, it's tough to look at. The first time I realised that there was, there was an issue, I was actually on holiday in, in France and it was, it was actually particularly sunny that day and I, I don't know why, but I just suddenly noticed black dots in my vision and swirls, which I, I believe is a classic symptom and I thought that's a bit strange. I was diagnosed with birdshot in 2001 in the September. The work I was doing was embroidery, working from home to commissions. Over the period of coming up for 15 years now, it is colour differentiation, um, needle-eye coordination isn't as good, but I'm using 40-odd years of technique um, that, so I can still thread needles um, with ease. When, when I was first diagnosed, um, I was obviously quite concerned about it and it was just a case of me trying to find out more and deciding what could be a good um, course of action to take in terms of diet and, and taking supplements as well. And simple things like vitamin B complex, which is good for eyesight, I'm told, um, and similar such things really. Um, pineapple. Apparently, it's good for your eyes. Initially, I was afraid of the dark. Um, and for a while, I slept with a light on. I suppose initially, it was um, scared of going blind because bird shots unknown cause, um, almost unknown treatment. Uh, yes, Moorfields and other hospitals manage patients, but it's very much on a visit by visit basis as opposed to a long term plan. It is that unknown that I've never been comfortable with. I actually talk about it now, it's actually quite emotional because um, it had taken three years from when I first noticed symptoms and I, I used to go to, to Birmingham and they were convinced it was something in the optic nerve and you know I sat in a room with loads of experts around me and you know, nobody had any idea really what it was and, and then I had a, I had a flare up with people with the condition be familiar, suddenly you see loads more dots and uh, I spoke to my doctor, this was a Monday morning, and he said, I'll go up to Birmingham. And there's a certain pattern, the way that people look at your eyes. It's all slightly different, but there's a pattern that you recognize. And his pattern suddenly changed. And at that point, I knew he'd seen something. And so I said to him, so you know what it is? And he said, yes, I think I do. I'm gonna get a second opinion. And he went and got somebody else who was back within, within five minutes. And the other guy said, yeah, I think you're right. And he said, you've got birdshot. And it, it was a huge relief to have a, a name to hang around the condition. I was grateful for the initial visit to my optician um, with the eye pressure being off his scale of whatever instrument it is, it is he uses. Um, it gave him a shock. Um, and I could hear him sort of asking the hospital patient um, pressure so and so rising, and uh, you know he just calmly said to me, "Go home, pack an overnight bag, and be prepared to stay in." And it was all in place, and it was. I think that's what calms you down when you've had something quite frightening. Um, but the people carry you forward. I have to wear glasses for driving, but that's because I'm slightly short-sighted, uh, and I have to read, have to use reading glasses for um, up-close 
small print. But all I do is I just make the fonts on my Kindle bigger, so I don't have to bother about them. Um, so I've never, it's never stopped me doing the things I love doing, and, and the new things that I want to do as well. And I've always played in bands, so, and it's never stopped me doing that. I've always read books, it's, and God forbid the day comes when I can't actually read a book. Um, that I would find very difficult to deal with. I'm not sure that I would want to go on to medication that will differ my immune system because I do stay very well. <laughs> <laughs>